Is this start? Okay, I start. Hi. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the virtual ride-in. Um, I'm Helena. I'm an intern here, and I'm Melissa. I'm also an intern here. <laughs> um, yeah, so excited to have you. Yeah, I know. I'm finally time. excited to join y'all. What's up, all you nanoers? <laughs> Um, so as you all know, Camp NaNoWriMo started yesterday, um, so I hope you all are getting your goals in. Um, and so today's topic or theme of the week is making setting a character in your story. So we're going to be doing a lot of writing prompts centered around setting. Um, and today, the first thing we're going to do is talk about our creative backpacks. So we're packing our creative backpacks to go on a survival trip. Um, what's in your backpack? Um, let's see what's in the backpack. Um, we have the handy dandy stuffed moose. Um, it's kind of like a Wilson. You always need to have a friend with you while you're writing to yeah. inspire you and stuff. In case you get lonely. Shout out to Alaska. <laughs> um, a feather boa because you need to stay like fat while you're writing, like inspired, yeah. like aesthetically. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else we have. A hammer to build all kinds of shelters and anything else we might need to keep ourselves going. Ooh. Oh, we're having a little trouble <laughs> here. Okay. <laughs> and a first aid kit. Got all the basics. Cool. Cool. Um, so then for our first prompt, then we're going to pick one of these items from our bag and we're going to incorporate it in our story. Um, bonus points if you make it a char your character, put your character in a survival story. Um, so I guess we gotta pack it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go then. And of course, um, you don't have to do this prompt. You can always uh, choose your own prompt, write whatever you want. And the first prompt will be for five minutes. So, uh, do you want to close your eyes and pick something? Um, um, yeah. Okay. What will it be? I'll be writing with the moose. Okay, so mm -hmm. I will set our timer for five minutes um, and then write that survival story. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Start.
30 second warning. Finish that last sentence you're working on. Um, so drop in a sentence or your word count, um, share it with us, and let's see what you wrote. So what did you write about? Um, I was going for kind of a post-apocalyptic meets um what's the movie where there's an actual wilson oh ca castaway or something like that yeah like a post-apocalyptic meets castaway um and mortimer here is my wilson and we were currently having a bit of argument <laughs> for him letting me oversleep and sleeping well into the day and now it's nighttime and we are about to run into some trouble oh, with no. yeah <laughs> <laughs> our survival story <laughs> What about you? <laughs> I also wrote about a post-apocalyptic world. Awesome. Um, I was having a little trouble starting, so I didn't quite get to add in my Wilson. <laughs> but sure. Yeah. Um, so then if you were to go on a survival trip like this, what would you bring? Um, Other in, than, of course, the feather bowl. Of, yeah. In this case, I would definitely bring a lighter, anything to start a fire. Um, because fire one, it'll help me cook food, stay warm, and it also help me fight, you know, fight mm -hmm. off all the enemies. I'm not sure exactly what the enemies are going to be yet, but <laughs> fire will defeat them. Yes, that's a really good one. Um, what, what else would be a good thing to bring? I'm thinking maybe mm -hmm. like a little hatchet so you can like cut up firewood. Ooh, that's actually a really good idea. Um, and then you can like cut down your enemies too. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, fire. Cook them with the fire if yeah. you're real hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what would you all bring? Um, drop them in the comments. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Um, Nicole got 233 words. Hey, go off the Nicole, get it. Um, Stefan has a question. Do you have any tips for creating characters from scratch? Ooh, hmm. I would say a, um, something for inspiration is maybe the people that you know in real life. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. I always try to um, take different pieces of my friends, like uh, personalities or like possibly things I don't really like that much about them or that gets on my nerves and try to like <laughs> incorporate it into a character to either, um, yeah, help me give some, write about characters I wouldn't normally write about. It's a good one. Helps you like work through some yeah, exactly. And it, <laughs> yeah, and it helps you understand your friends a little bit more, too. <laughs> uh, ooh, Chloe said that she would bring a hardback book so she can entertain herself as well as defend herself. That's a bomb idea. A um, MacBook? Is that what she said? Um, a heavy hardback book. Ooh. Oh, okay. I, I like thought a, you said MacBook. <laughs> I was going to say, how are you going to charge that? Ooh. But yeah, book is a good choice. Warm blanket for comfort and material to work with, says Jenny. We got our blanket right here. We should have stuck this in there. We should have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see. Julia says, 
The girl was not gone. She was still occupying the same physical space as before, but she faded in on herself, shrinking into the folds of her dress as though she was trying to become invisible. Wow, I really like that. Yeah. What is she hiding from? I wonder. KR said, oh, oh, Pam says, fingerless gloves to keep my hands warm while typing. That is such a good idea. I really think we should get some. <laughs> um, Green Blush dropped in. His processor torn out of his helm, stuffed into a human brain like some morbid kind of patchwork and left to survive on its own. Rachel's ongoing commentary aside. Ooh. Ooh. I really like that. It's ooh, it's that's crazy. Going on. Yeah, it sounds like a Black Mirror episode. You know. Danny dropped in. Uh, he muttered an apology, not really paying much attention to the words. His mind was racing, already trying to find another way into the mansion. First step, he had to ditch the finery. In the mansion, is it haunted? I wonder. Ooh. Or booby trapped, perhaps? Ooh. Maybe that's why he has to ditch the finery so it doesn't like catch on all the things, you know? Ooh. Um. Um, Mel says, usually one of the cats gets a wild hair and likes to do things like that. I love cats. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like a NaNoWriMo cat. It's like, oh, we should. A cat for the office. We, I think we were talking about that last week or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should. Um, it could be a part of the virtual write-ins. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should start on the second prompt now, if y'all are ready. Cool. So our next prompt is to write a scene where a smell or texture inspires a memory. Oh, I like that. That's, I, I have a really bad sense of smell, but it's a really good prompt. <laughs> um, how long will you give them for this one? And then we will have 10 minutes for this one. I will give like a five minute warning. Okay, cool. And are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Start.
five minute party.
time. Okay, so go ahead and uh, share a sentence or share your word count. So, um, Um, it's pretty nice. Um, what did you write about? I wrote about the smell of lavender, oh. and I tried to kind of continue on with. Um, by the way, in my first uh, sprint we did, I named the moose Mortimer for the survival story. Yeah, so I tried to continue on with Mortimer, and uh, yeah, we were like out searching for food um, in this little post-apocalyptic world when all of a sudden we are like overcome with like just sensory overload and we pass out <laughs> and we wake up to like the strongest smell of lavender. And so now me and Mortimer, well, we're arguing about, should we go find like the source of the smell? Because it reminds uh, my character of her mom and her cooking and stuff. So it's like, mm -hmm. should we go find it or should we just continue on our hunt for food? So we stopped amid the argument. I would definitely go for it. Go for that. Yeah. For Mortimer is very persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> He's also, Kind of lavender color, yeah. or she? Wow, she is. That's crazy. <laughs> um, what about you? Um, I wrote about the uh, like texture of shadows. Um, Ooh, that's yeah. crazy. I kind of because sometimes like at night, if you like look at the shadows, they kind of look velvety. Like, especially, like, the leaves on the trees, like, they give, like, this weird, like, I don't know, you, you should go look. It, it looks, like, really cool. So that's actually that's... hella dope. <laughs> um, so let's see. We got some very high word counts in here. Good job, everyone. For real, both y'all. Yeah. Brenda <laughs> says, the warm atmosphere and the rich aroma of the chocolate made her eyes fill with tears. It wasn't that it smelled bad. It reminded her of something she missed dearly. It reminded her of home. Ooh. Mm. Do you have a smell that reminds you of home? Um... <sighs> Um, in a weird way, not trying to put my mom on blast, but um, the Febreze stuff, we, you spray the bathroom when, like, you did too much. <laughs> that always reminds me of home. It's always used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to use a lot of that um, when I was living in the dorms. Yeah. Girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For real. Um, Mortimer. Gina says that um, they're editing, but they're adding a sentence about the smell of a dead frog. Oh my gosh, that's a very unique smell, I imagine. I hope you haven't like smelled that in real life. <laughs> um, Lady Nadia dropped in. Though the years had passed, he had brought the handkerchief close to his face. A vague perfume lingered in his nostrils, not enough for someone to notice, but enough for him to remember the story behind it. I wonder what it was. <laughs> A past lover, perhaps. Hmm. Uh, Anon Owl says, it was dusty, honey-like smell. It was a dusty, honey-like smell. She called it Egyptian musk. It reminded him of a club in his old hometown. We're getting a lot of smells that like remind you of things. Yeah, I'm it's loving really these cool. smells. I'm gonna write yeah. some of them down to like check out in like instant form. Uh, Joanna said, "Their brother long gone, and all that rem and all that remained of his memory was the last of his scent, the scent of sand." They lifted their wrists and looked at the gold shackles that bound their wrists inside. Ooh. 
That's cool. Wow. Do you all have like a favorite smell or texture or some like other little details that you like to incorporate in your stories? Um, like, what are some other details? Like colors? Um, let's see, colors or you need color, texture, smell. Um, how things feel, like if that can, I guess it's kind of like the same as texture, but like not necessarily like how things like physically feel, like how it, like a physical feeling could like mentally make you feel, possibly. Um, Cassie said the other intern, the one who talk, the one who talks too much, is wearing a candy-like, too strong perfume. It smells like apples. I hate the scent of apples, but more than anything, the smell reminds me of Theo. I wonder which intern you're talking about. <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> Oh, Bats Rule says Shout that. out to Bats Rule! <laughs> um, oh, Ashley asked how many sprints will we be doing? We will be doing three, so one more sprint. Um, Allison asked a really cool question. What are tips for utilizing other senses in writing, especially working in taste? Um, That's um, a good question. Yeah. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind, like working with taste, um, if you're like trying to describe it like really well or like differently, eat whatever you're trying to describe, you know, even if it's something you're not, especially if it's something you're not super into eating, but you really want to write about because mm -hmm. tasting it will, oh yeah, especially if you don't like the way it tastes, that'll give you a whole bunch of like words and like descriptors, even if you don't want to use it in like what you're currently writing, like those are like good things to just like hold on to and like the back of your head. Yeah, and like just even having that, like just one one sense will like lead you to like all the other ones. So if you have one sense in, like it's a good place to like for real door opener. Yeah. Um, John says that he likes more to more. Is it a pet name? Um. A pet name as in like a nickname. No, Mortimer is now like it's her legal name. Mortimer <laughs> Nano. Welcome to the world. <laughs> um. Oh, Puffy Books also did Lavender. Ooh. Um. Um. I'm so sorry if I say your username wrong. <laughs> um, but Pet Record in the Night said, I usually try to incorporate weird combinations of smells. In this one, fish and leather. That's crazy. I love to see how you did that. Um, I had one character who usually smelled like soil, gunpowder, and old books. Ooh, that's like a great tip. That's really cool. What smells would you mix together? Um... Probably something weird, like like the smell of like eggs. Not necessarily rotten, but like the smell when you're like hard boiling an egg and like peaches. I'm getting really hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spicy scents, says Kasaki.
Danny does book says, um, oh, I'm so sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Nate's hand was over the boy's mouth before he could let out a shout. It wasn't his first time jumping somewhere. Ooh, I hope it's not the last. I'd love to hear more. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's going to go home and make a salad with eggs and peaches. If you do, please send in a picture of, like, the salad or of you eating it or both because, like, that'd just be great to see. Like, and I'll send you one back. I'll make the same thing. <laughs> yeah, email us or tag us on Instagram. Twinkle Toes, the bursker said, I stood and picked up one of the discarded and still dirty blankets, breathing in the smell, faded, faded and dusty, of sweat and old books, of Lily, who had been my sister in all the ways but blood. Ooh. Onamita is commenting, I believe, on that, um, on the thing you just read. Uh, that's super cool. Sometimes characters have a scent which covers up their own Ill illness's scent or the scent of blood. Or oh, maybe that wasn't related. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The struggling studier said, his smoky and dark appearance from working in the mines, his smell of burnt ash and crushed dreams, his slow descent into loneliness, pushing pushing everyone away. Well, that's very dark. It's dark, but I like where you're going with it. Like, that's bomb. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lane E. Y. Rick said, I was just a kid. I wasn't anyone important for Pete's sake. I smelled like clean cat litter and love Pokemon. Who could love me? Um, I love the smell of clean cat litter. It yeah. is, yeah, like anxiety crusher. Like it is, it's clean. Everything's good. That's a good one. No cats like smell so good. They do. It's so weird, but they really smell good. They do. And... <laughs> Dogs don't be smelling as good. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe we should start on the third sprint so we have time. Cool. Um, okay, so for this one, uh, going off of setting again, add a storm um, in your story that changes your character's plans. And then we'll also have 10 minutes to do this. And of course, you don't have to do this prompt. If you don't want to, you can do your own. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Oh no.
So how did this storm change up your plans? Um, it basically flooded the direction my character was going to take home. Uh. And um, now she has to decide if uh, she should like swim through it, but it's like moving hella quick, like rapids, um, like water rapids. I don't know, like white water rafting quick type stuff <laughs> like that. Um, so now it's like, oh, should we go through it? Should we like tie a rope to a tree and try and like swing past it, go around it? But if we go around it, it's gonna be too late and we'll be stuck outside. So it's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, getting into the nitty gritty. And yeah. Is it still with? Yes, more and more is still here. It's <laughs> cool. Um, what about you? Uh, you know, like when like things get really bad and it's like things just get worse. Yeah, yeah it's like one of those moments and it just starts storming mm -hmm. and it's just like. Why? <laughs> um, looks like there's some really good stuff in the chat box. Um, even if you didn't write about the prompt, feel free to throw in a sentence. Allison said, 510 by the way, dope. Um, the fluffy clouds that had been meandering around all day had suddenly turned vicious. Ooh. They were drawing they were drawing battle lines, looping together, growing darker, larger, looming down on the city. Um, I like this. They're yay. like coming alive. Um, Billy said, alone in the torrents, we join abhorrence, protest the system, for I miss them, my love, my love, trapped inside the dome, that place is no roam, and I, his lover, cry, for I am not dry. Oh, it rhymes. I, I really this. like it. I'm sorry <laughs> if I read it, um, like, offbeat or tempo, but I really love it. <laughs> um. Sarah says, I was ascending the stairs when I heard the first burst of thunder so loud it, it caused the floor to shake. I tightened my grip on the railing until my knuckles turned white. Mm. Ooh, that's so loud that the floor started to shake. It sounds Ooh. like a very big storm. It's really scary. <sighs> KR says, maybe they were so afraid of humanity because they had some of it to themselves. I wonder who they were. Um, Hannah said, Mila turns, eyebrows already raised. What are you doing? Cal holds up a hand, feeling the phantom breeze tickle through his fingers whispering icy kisses into his skin. I like him. Yeah, it's really like tactile and like texture. Penguin5689 said, we watched as the sky turned this dark and ugly green color. We moved closer to the window to get a closer look. And we watched as the clouds started rotating around. An ugly green color. That's crazy. Can you imagine if the sky turned like green? <gasps> I mean, it was yellow over the weekend, y'all, but green, I don't know. It's the end of the world. You know, it's the end of the world. But... Trump and did something for real this time. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna says the man pulled them behind him as they kept running, looking back as the building collapsed. They looked at the fall, the falling debris and realized it was raining fire in the sea of sand. Ooh. Patric 
Petricker in the night says, I began to sneak her books, which appeared to be older than her, into my room at night. Do you own anything that's older than you? Um... Um, the only thing are these two rings. <laughs> Those are about it. Everything else. It's probably about my age. My phone. How old is Google? I think Google's younger than most of us. Yeah. Hmm. It's in the 2000s. Official Sarah said, the storm took everyone by surprise. As the rain began to fall, the people outside started to run. Lifting her head slowly, Akira looked out the window. I'm sorry if I said her name wrong. Elias says, drip, drop, drip. I listen to the sounds around me. My magic keeping me dry. I enjoy the putter patter of the rain on the roof. Ooh. That I, is relaxing. I really enjoy that onomatopoeia you got going on. Yay. Hit up the Migos. <laughs> the struggling studier said, the storm got louder, and the fire in one way got put out by the storm, but in another, the fire got bigger. It spread to my head. I thought I was going to live. I had no idea what was in store for me. Bat's rule says, I have a coffee set that is older than me. My grand got it for my mother when she was 18, I think. That's cool. That's so Can never go wrong with coffee either. Yeah. Coffee is the best. <sighs> Lex said flights were canceled. She couldn't get out of the city. Damn it, she thought, seeing, seating to herself as she stared out the window. Adrian was trying to disappear from Lord Prescott's visit, vision. I love it. There's a lot going on, and I love it. Imagine the frustration of your flight being canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Flying into San Francisco, it will almost always get canceled. Mm. Sarah says, um, I used to drive a car that was older than me. Ooh. That's really impressive. Mm. That also sounds very dangerous. What kind of car was <laughs> it? <laughs> um. Maybe, I think we have time for like one last more. Do you see anything that you really like? Um, mm -hmm. Puffy Books said, see, Dorian called after her. Storm is just being friendly. See, threw him a book, uh, threw him a look of disdain. Where are you going, pet? I'm not your pet, C replied, leaving the room. Tell them. Yeah, thank you for sharing like all these like great um, sentences and like your word count and all these great ideas with us. Um, fortunately, we are out of time. We're coming to the end of our virtual writing. Um, any last thoughts? Um, I'm really excited I got to be here with y'all today. I um, look forward to doing all the rest with you too. Thank you, everyone who contributed. It was really great stuff in there, even the stuff we didn't say out loud. It was all bomb. Yeah. And make sure to sign up for Camp NaNoWriMo if you haven't already, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>